He was a husband and father of five, crossing the street when he was shot and killed. It happened on New Year's Eve in the city of Oxnard. His family spoke today about their terrible loss. Inland Empire Bureau Chief Rob McMillan has their story. He didn't deserve what they did to him. I didn't deserve it. But most importantly, our, our, our kids didn't didn't deserve any of this because now they're going to have to go on with the life without their father. Cassandra Juarez devastated after her husband Jose was shot and killed during a New Year's Eve party not far from their Oxnard home. We were at um, a neighborhood family party. It was all family. A little bit after midnight, my husband across the street, I'm assuming to come home to check on our two boys that were playing um, PS4 at home that didn't want to go, and he was shot. He's good man, good friend. Neighbor Estevan Hernandez wonders if the shooting might have been accidental, perhaps someone carelessly firing a gun in a random direction. Sa, 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 sa. Everybody, everybody, 12 o'clock, started. Oxnard police say no one's been arrested, and they say they don't think it was a situation where it was a bullet that fell from the sky and happened to strike Jose Juarez. My husband was a good man, and he had great qualities. And Jose was a father of five. Cassandra now left to raise their children on her own. She says some of the kids still don't know what happened. They think that he's in the hospital asleep and that he'll be home soon. Five-year-old Michael says his dad taught him so much. Be kind to people, be smart, be nice to people. A life cut too short, a family left to pick up the pieces. I missed you, Daddy, and I love you so much. You were the best dad. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.